it is a nice day to be here at Six Flags St. Louis. I was in Road Drop and Eagle, and I saw that Boss was testing, so it looks like I will not be one for six today. I'll be, I'll be two for six. That's still not a good track record, but I'm glad I'll at least be able to hopefully get on it today. And Ryan's gonna be joining me today, and hopefully he'll get to ride Boss for the seventh season, and I say hopefully he should be able to ride it. I think he doesn't break down like it did a couple weeks ago. That's for later. I'm gonna ride. Eagle first ones to get this thing open, and I saw they saw the bleacher on the lift, so it'll probably be a little bit, but I'm gonna wait it out, and hopefully be first run of the day, then ride maybe. train first thing today and I'm not getting done right because there's people behind me maybe next time Scream and Eagles now done that was running really solid blue train was running today so that was cool and I saw red train as well but I got blue train first decent air time running quite smooth as well it was one of the smoothest runs I've had on all season so that was nice and now I'm going down towards the boss because I saw they were testing that and I want to get on it because I've only done it twice this season so let's head down that direction and uh I guess I'll have Ryan come out there and meet me up there because he's just got here a little bit ago so we'll take on boss the first time together this season this is what I like to see the boss Sandra's is open let's go take a few rides on this first two rides on this a couple weeks ago were absolutely incredible. Running really smooth, really good airtime, and it was just overall a blast. Can't wait to see how it runs today. And when we get up a little bit farther, I'm gonna show what else has been done with Rookie Racer, because when I was last here, they had asked to do, oh geez, that's a full train on Boss. So good thing I'm doing this one sooner rather than later. So once I get a little closer, I'll show you some progress on a Rookie Racer.
the boss. What did you think of that? That is quite possibly the best ride I've ever had on this thing. I mean, um, wow. What did you think of the track work they did? The track work was amazing. It was butter smooth pretty much the whole time. Yeah, I mean, there's that one valley like over there that wasn't that smooth. Um, but. Oh, that was great. That ranks above Mystic for me now. Nice. And you also said that bumped American Thunder down to third in the park. But it's, yeah. it's not on par with Breeze though for you. No. Okay. Yeah, like we're going back around and do it again because we missed out on the single one. Twice the visit? Yeah, twice this, this visit and then this, this year, yeah. was definitely worth the wait. Absolutely. It was phenomenal. So uh, yeah, we're going to ride it again and uh, see how it's running. Because last time it was phenomenal. Round two was just as wild as before. What would you think? You have fun with that? So I, we let our bodies go limp there. Oh I'm yeah. I'm gonna turn around and my back popped because yeah. the airtime was so strong. Yeah, that, and I was on the left side. I actually went flags were flying across the train. It was just demonic. And I said I would do a rookie race construction update, so we got a lot more track and supports on site from when I was here uh, last week. Looks like, uh, I think, I don't know, what do you think, Ryan? Do you think those are straight sections down there are part of the lift hill? What do you think? Yes, they're the straight sections part of the lift hill. Um, looks like it's gonna go under, under the... Yeah, that or it could be for the brake run, which I, I guess it would be the lift hill, maybe. But who knows? Only time will tell. Yeah, that is true. It could be something both, but only time will tell. So uh, now we're gonna head down towards the front of the park and get on Justice League and Mr. Freeze, and then uh, maybe check out American Thunder. Because Ryan said you thought I was running slow from what you saw. Yeah. So yeah, we'll hold up on that one and come back to it in a little bit. But let's get down towards the front of the park and get on those other two riots. goes into the track. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that for a coaster. But, um, I'm, I'm just reminiscing because that foot, like where the connector for the footer is, is really close to the actual rail. Yeah, that is very interesting. So I, that, if anything, tells me need some of the lower of the ground sections of the tribe. And it might actually pull some decent forces. Yeah, it very well could. So, yeah, once uh, this thing uh, really gets uh, going vertical, I guess you could say, I know we start to see a testing, we'll be able to maybe make a guess as to what it could actually run like. Because I have no idea what this thing will run like. Because I've never done a next uh, gen Vacoma. I have, and it's one of the smoothest coasters in the world. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. For Dragon reference. Dragonflyer yes. was the one I did. And yeah. it was ridiculously smooth. Yeah, he rode Dragonflyer at Dollywood. I'll be riding that in a little bit over a month. So I can't wait to see how that actually is. And your big thing is Big Bear Mountain. Yes, Big Bear Mountain. I cannot wait to ride that because that was announced to be. What day did they announce that opening? May 12th? May 12th, yeah. I guess, yeah, assuming that doesn't break down, which I wouldn't be surprised if it does, I should be getting on that, and I hope to get that second ride on Lightning Rod, because I desperately need it. And I desperately need one ride on Lightning Rod. Yeah, because uh, I tried to ride in 2016, and like... 2018, I tried to ride it, and it was down... It was it was open the day before I went, and it was open the day after I went, but it was closed the day I went. Uh, typical Elrod moment. And then... When I went in 2021, they were still retracking it with iBox track. Right. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get on Lightning Rod because people say it's uh, not that good anymore. I personally probably won't know a difference because I don't remember anything and I wrote it in 2016. So, I can't wait to get on it and see how it holds up because I don't know if they'll top Iron Glossy, but it has a shot of being number two. It's not that. So, I'll see how that holds up in about a month.
Usually it's just done on the phone, you know? I like it. Will it go over? Yep, that's over. Anyway, we just rode Mr. Freeze. Uh, I did a sad pop. Oh my gosh, I have had enough of you running me. Pod line. Anyway. We just rode Mr. Freeze. I did front, you did back. What'd you think? You enjoy oh, it? Oh. It made me gray out for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm discombobulated. And I'm peeing. Why do you gotta be so loud? Jeez. It is a loud ride. Yeah, loud ride in the park by far. And even Batman over there, which is the one that didn't compare to this. So yeah, I wanna try back row a little bit, but uh, what do you think was running better today? This or Boss? I thought they were about the same. They're really? Both, they're absolutely both nuts. Yeah, I believe it. Both are just wild. So, welcome back to this one in a little bit. But Look at the line for Yikes, yeah, Boss is uh, got a decently long line up there, but that's because they got one train up. So, we'll check back up that in a little bit. We had another good round on Justice League. We both maxed it, and what were you doing in that last screen in the there? the last screen, I was shooting Superman the whole time. Because you are an absolute idiot for doing that. Menace. What were you thinking? I already maxed it, so might as well shoot at the heroes. <laughs> you are so ridiculous. How dare you dance my favorite superhero? <laughs> also, coming out of the force, you had 998,000. What happened there? 2,000 off. That's just ridiculous. But let's hope that doesn't happen again this time. Or even worse, getting 999,000. Oh, 990 coming out of it. That would be horrible. That would be even worse. That bet it's going to happen, so let's see what happens again. If you max it again, are you going to shoot Superman on the screen? I'm going to shoot Lex Luthor. Good. As you should. And don't even think about shooting Batman. <laughs> oh, you better not.
got off of Long Flume because I think that's going to be our new tradition. Now we got to ride this at least once every time we come here. I only got the worst of it. You didn't get too wet. My shirt got no, soaked. I, I just got sprinkles. Yep. He was in the front of the log. I was in the back of his. Maybe that's why. And uh, you rode the very back row on Boss earlier. I wasn't running. <laughs> it's insane in the back. Um, rough, yes. Not, yeah. Not bad, though. Right, so. Uh, yeah, he still said it was a front row ride, though. Um, yeah, the. Ejector off the first drop is ridiculous. Right. Oh, that's hard. He's like, it's okay, okay. It's not going to get past that real fast. Anyways, what were you saying? So the, the, the drop off the... I'm not sure. Uh, the drop off the... The mid course. The mid course was pretty good. It had a nice problem with Ejector, but the first drop was insane in the back. Yeah, the first drop is always ridiculous back there. And now uh, we got a Eagle on the float tail. And that's going to be our next ride. So uh, we're going to see how this one's done because... Uh, our ride uh, last year was my only ride last time I was here. It was not great. It was kind of disappointing, to be honest. And uh, we're going to try and get front row On this time. Blue train. Yeah, front row blue train. Although I haven't been paying attention to how fast the trains are running. Which one have you seen running faster so far? Uh, blue train's running faster. You think blue train? I have not run the front row on this this year. Okay, we'll try it. And we got a train coming up right over. Oh, there, I see it. There it goes. Oh, boy, I mean. That's, yeah. that's running solid. Yeah, it sounds like it's running pretty good, so. Well, uh, how about this other one? Let's just see how this one's running. I've gone back and forth, that's why I prefer front or back on this in the past. But I mean, after how disappointing my back row ride was last time, and after how good my two front row rides were, I think I might be leaning towards being a front row ride in general. What do you think? Front row is the, the better row for now. Yeah, for this year, because I mean, we you know, we did ride back row of red train and front row of blue train, and Brian said blue train might be running faster. So we might try back row of blue train later on, see if that's better, because we don't know which is actually better, because we did back of the uh, red train, yeah, front of blue. So I don't remember if I did uh, front of red earlier in the season, which I think I might have in my first ride of the year on it, but it'll be cool to try it. And uh, Ellis was on a front row of blue train, and they got red train going up right now. So uh, once he comes over here, we'll uh, get his thoughts on this ride, see what he thought of it. That's not me, that's still. I mean, Oh, okay. They have to do a roller coaster. We ran into Ellis, who just got off American Thunder. What'd you think of it? You have fun? Yeah, it was super fast. Yeah, I saw him like. He was on the blue train, which is the same one that Ryan and I were on. You were flying on one of those hills. Like, we saw you, and he, Ryan and I were both shocked how, how good the airplane was. Still not as fast as Prowler is, though. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> Prowler destroys American Thunder. And we're going to hop on this one now. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, you said you got a new record uh, a couple visits ago. It's still around 600 and, like, I think 30 or 40... Something. Yeah, somewhere around there. So yeah. we're gonna see if we can uh, do that again today. I mean, Ryan and I, we both maxed it uh, almost there, right? Uh, Ryan didn't, unfortunately didn't have a great ride. I did ride. not because the uh, panel screen wasn't working. For yeah, me. I think what might have happened, he had a ride where the blaster was shooting only straight forward in some of the screens. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna hop on this one and uh, see how we do. And uh, Ellis, let's see if we can get a new record, all right? Yeah, hopefully. Let's, let's go do it. Yeah. We'll report back once we're off. No, 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 no. That last ride is absolute dog water. The Blue Blaster of Car 8 is the worst. Like, it was not registering every shot. Like, it was only shooting once every two blaster hits at a slower speed. So you think that like at a fast speed, it was only registering like once every five hits. Absolutely ridiculous. 
Like, I don't know if they even got like halfway to that game. I think I barely did. Was, and not even that. It was, it was just horrible. I failed too. Yeah, that was really bad. Ryan even had a purple blaster. I had a purple one. <laughs> purple is like my worst. Unless yeah. you had him. Yeah, mine was just rough. So we're going to try this one again. And the LS was pretty much the same old round for you. Yeah, I actually had a good blaster. Yeah, we got around the same score. It was not a good round for me at all. Right. Let's try that again. Talk about a redemption round. All three of us had an awesome ride just there. Ryan, you said you maxed it out second to last screen, right? Second to last screen, yeah. Nice. And uh, I did something ridiculous, like 900,000 in the first screen. I've only done that a couple of times in my life. So it was all good. I managed to pull it off. And uh, yeah, that was wild. We're gonna go right Mr. Freeze now. And Ellis, you got a new record. What'd you get? I got 687,500. Very nice. Like, I was watching him on the security cameras because uh, I saw his car going into the ride. And uh, I can't tell you if it's bad, but yeah, I was watching him on the security cameras. And uh, I saw him like absolutely nailing the Jetlag henchman because I know exactly where the lives need to be on each of the screens in order for it to work. Ellis was just nailing each, pretty much every shot on the Jetlag henchman. I'm like, oh my gosh, he just might do it. So I'm proud of him for doing that. And uh, we're going to ride Mr. Freeze now with the. Uh, that line's pretty long, but we did hear that there are two trains going, so that's nice. So it might be like a 20 minute wait. Eh, possibly. Who knows though. Then we just like, you'd reserve flash pass on it once this line dies down a little bit. And then get on the train as a shorter line. But, or do we just want to get on side A, which is the better train, anyway. Alright, let's do that. third round on boss and that was absolutely ridiculous yep. well uh what say what four four oh right. for you that was for you i only read it three times today oh okay that was awesome super fast paced barely trimmed on the mid course not rough it was pretty much as good as i can get so nice nothing else to be said about it really
Ryan and Alice are going to go to ride Scram and Eagle now because that's still only a 10 minute wait on the app, which I already wrote it earlier this morning, so I don't feel the need to give it another go. Plus, it is the last hour after all, so what else am I doing besides marathoning it? Well, let's see when the ride's not broke. Now that is. The line is definitely, I think, getting short, so maybe we can get one Zen ride by Cruiser. Although I'm not sure. But regardless, I'm just glad I'm able to marathon this thing. See where my line comes in clutch. Got another ride where I just went absolutely berserk in the first guy. I was like 899,000 coming out of it. Oh my gosh, I'm stunned by how good I'm doing on the first screen today. I feel like if I keep up the good work, I might be able to get a first screen max. I can see that happening in the not so distant future, honestly. I got Red Blaster of Car 8, which worked way too well, and I was just doing really good. So let's see if we can hopefully get a first screen max by the end of the night. Like, if I can get a first screen max and I have an open blaster to use that actually works, I'm probably gonna double max it. No contest. So let's go in and see if we can do it. But then again, I think it all depends on what the line is like, which I think it should be dying down right about now. So let's go. Uh, Hop on it again because, well, that's what I do for last hour, as you guys already know, because you watch them to the point where you see many of my other vlogs. Got about 20 minutes left till the park closes for the night, and I am at uh, 1,048 max score, so I would like to get it to 1,050 by the end of the night. That will put me halfway between 1,000 and then 1,100. So well, let's go see if we can get the last two before the park closes. I just finished up my marathon of Justice League and that last ride I had, oh my gosh. I didn't double max it, but Ellis, where did that score come from? I'll show you. That's yeah. my score right here, baby. I don't believe how I did that. <laughs> like, it was like, oh my gosh. My jaw dropped. I was stunned after that. I'm like, how did he get that? I'm like, dude, yeah. wow. I just saw him that he's gonna max it out before the main power hours event. I'm calling it. Like, he was uh, really close. Like, I know it's the one part where he messed up. He was not shooting those crates in the fourth screen. Yeah. And I think that's what cost him the max call. Otherwise, you would have probably gotten Next it. Time, though. <laughs> I don't know. Like, that was remarkable. I mean, two jumps, but in the day, that's hard wow. to do. Yeah, that was just amazing. Oh, man. Talk about an awesome ride to end the night on for sure. For the final ride down today, I got 16 on Justice League, 3 on Boss, 2 on Mr. Freeze, and 1 on American Thunder, Log Flim, and Scrim Eagle. Brian, what'd you do? So, 2 on American Thunder. Okay. Front and back. Right. Which were both great. Um, 4 on Boss. Oh, yeah, you did that four times. 3 on Mr. Freeze, 1 on Scrim and Eagle, and 11 on Justice League. And we did once on the Log Flim. And, yeah, one, uh, one Log Flim ride. The thing is, I maxed Justice League 10 out of 11 times. Yeah, that was which amazing. Was great. Yep. Yep, and so you guys know what to do before you click off the video, but in case you don't, please make sure to leave a like and be sure to comment about what you enjoy about this video. And be sure to share it with someone else you may know. And if you're new to this channel, like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the summer, so I appreciate you subscribing and turning the bell on so you get notified every time I upload. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take when visiting parks, so be sure to check that out via the link in the description. And for the next vlog, it might be from this park for sure, but it might also be from one other location. Ryan, where is that other location we might be going? Aries Alpine Coaster from Aries Winery. Yep, that is uh, about an hour away over in Illinois, so it'll actually be a combined vlog from that and also this park, so we might be doing both the same day, so stay tuned for that vlog, and thank you guys again for watching, and until then, we'll see you later.